Thank you for joining us at the Palette Fine Wine video blog. My name is Stuart Langer, and I'm your host. Uh, today I'm going to show you a, a different wine that we wouldn't usually taste here. We've started doing some wine down magnums where we do a little nicer wines once a month with our themed wine. So it was all Italian wines this week. Uh, and this one's quite special. This is the 2005 Soy Python Barbaresco. It was rated 93 points by the Wine Advocate. It's $36.99, so it's a little higher on the price point. Fantastic Barbaresco, though, for the price point. Typically, Barbarescos, you don't even get in there for $100. I mean, they're, they're very expensive. Barbaresco is a little town right beside Barolo in Piedmont, Italy, up by Milan, northwestern side of Italy. Okay, so trying to give you a little geography there. This is Nebbiolo grape, okay? That's the exact same grape that's in Barolo. Different vineyard area, different style. Um, not quite as floral necessarily. Pretty interesting wines. When I opened this wine yesterday, it was a little hard to drink when we opened it. Uh, it evolved through the night and got really, really uh, started opening up towards the end of the night. I haven't tried this wine today, so I wanted to taste it here live right away just to kind of give you my impressions of what this wine would be like if, if you, we had decanted it or if we'd given a little time or given some air yesterday. Um, again, rated 93 points by the Wine Advocate, 36.99. That's really good press, really good price point. So I really like this wine in that price point for a nice, bold Italian. Definitely a food wine, though. It needs a big, hearty pasta, guys, or something to help break it down. It's got a lot of tannins and a lot of grip, a lot of acidity, um, and really pretty young. It, it could use, actually, maybe more importantly, it needs some age. Uh, but uh, for the price point, it's definitely one you could drink now. The nose is pretty nice on it. Definite, definite nose of that region. I mean, when I smell this wine, it automatically makes me, makes me think of Piedmont. Just that soil has this after smell on the nose that's just Piedmont. There's no other way to describe it. Little fruit coming through, darker fruit. A hint of floral, hint of violets on it. Maybe just a hint of roses, which is very typical Barolo, but not as much. It's not as quite as floral. More of that minerality, uh, dark fruit. Oh my. That is so mellowed. It's really drinking really, really well today. Um, good fruit. Um, Tart cherry, not too tart though. It's 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 ripe. It's not it's not too sour. I don't think San Giovese tart. A little riper than that. Um, good acidity, just coats the mouth. Definite grip. Quite a lot of tannins going on. Be really good with the pasta. Um, pretty dry though. If you're not in a dry wine, you're not gonna like this one. This one's pretty dry. But with a nice hearty pasta, the, the tannins and the acidity would help break down the starch and, uh, and really work very well with the pasta, the fats from the meat, um, and the cheese. I, I think it would be such a phenomenal pairing with a nice pasta coming from that region. Really, this is an outstanding buy, guys. I absolutely love it. Um, it's not for the faint of heart. Uh, it's definitely a little obscure. Uh, but really, really enjoyable. I find the wine quite pleasant. It's not necessarily a wine that most people would want to sit down and drink. In fact, very few would want to sit down and drink this one. I would enjoy it along those lines, but it really needs food. It needs something to go along with it. Uh, really, really pretty impressive, though. Hmm. It's a nice little wine, guys. I highly recommend this one, too. Uh, 2005 Sori Python Barbaresco, rated 93 points by the Wine Advocate. It's 36.99. I've got about a half a dozen bottles in the store, and there's some more available at the distributor. Find it to be quite a nice buy uh, for the price point, for the quality of wine. Who cares about the rating? But with the rating added, that does add some value that way. Um, but really, really a nice little wine. Highly recommend it. Um, and definitely one that you should check out next time you're, you're in that market uh, for something to go with your nice hearty pasta and you want a nicer little wine. This would be a, a good buy for you. So check it out next time you're in, in Palette.